Today I have a very special look at a new game that showed up on my porch today. My wife says I have to have a bad A knife in order to open the Kickstarter, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the table and we're going to take a look at Rising Sun. Alright, we're going to start with these little tiny packs. This is Cami Unbound. I'm going to try not to damage it with this giant knife. So. That'll work. Oh yeah. Set this down for a second. Don't. I'm gonna reach over here because I'm old and I need my glasses to take a look at things. And we are going to open this up. This is the Cami Unbound box. And we're gonna take a look and see what's in here. If I can even get in. Apparently you have to be smarter than the box. So I'm in trouble. Whoa! And stuff's flying everywhere. Alright. We got some nice cards. We're gonna we're gonna let you guys look at all of this. With my giant knife, trying not to ruin the cards. I know you guys don't know me, but I have no fingernails. Alright. Let's get this finished out and get it open. We got Amaratsu. We got Fujin. We got Hachiman. We got Reijin. We got Ryujin. Susanu. And Sukuyomi. They look uh, very cool. And I'm sure there is a character for each of them. Let's take a look at this one. Cards we have the backs. We have Autumn, Summer, Spring. Take a look at fronts. We have Piety, Path of the Builder, Sincerity, Path of the Favored, Oni of Blood. Boy, he looks kind of scary, doesn't he? Um, Way of the Kiri, Oni of Spite, and Oni of Hate. I wonder if he's going to be in the new Hate game by Coolman or not. Probably not. But I know what you guys are waiting to see. These awesome minis that Coolman or not is famous for. We're gonna take them. Ah! Now they're falling all over the place. We're going to take a look at them. And, uh... Take a look there. Just the sculpts are beautiful. The detail is amazing. Let's see each and every one of these. Look at that one. Oh yeah. He looks like a fighter. Make sure I can get all these back. We got this little dude. I would think that would hurt to have that thing up down your back and up above your head. I don't know. I'm not Japanese, I don't know. Then we have this chick who's got an even bigger one above her head. So, good luck with that. We have that scary looking dude. I think those things are drums. He's got a whole drum set. He's a rock band all by himself. Look at him. Oh, things are falling all over. And then we have this dude. And I don't know any of these names yet. I just know that these models are gorgeous. Not quite sure what he's slinging around there. His sleeping bag. I don't know. But he's got a cape for sure. And two feet. <laughs> and then finally, in this box, the last one, is this spirit looking dude. All these guys have beautiful sculpts, beautiful, like flowing garments. I don't think this guy's even standing, he's like floating. All right, one box down, three to go. Cami Unbound Rules, I'm guessing this is like a totally different expansion for it. And let me, oh shoot, 
I guess I should have pulled this out. We'll put that on there. I guess really putting them away is not uh, as important as it is. It's just not what you guys want to watch. I'm extremely meticulous when I put my stuff away, unfortunately. All right, Cami Unbound. And I just left the rules out. See? See what happens? All right, next up we have the Monster Pack. This is bound to have some of my relatives in it. That should be enough to get in. Get some of these papers off the table. And wow, these things look pretty, pretty awesome, pretty hideous. I'm pretty sure one of these is uh, pretty close to my ex-mother-in-law. monster cards they got bases these are going to be a ton of fun to paint but Jimenju Jorogumo Fire Dragon Oni of Plagues yeah I'm thinking that my ex-mother-in-law is like this spider looking lady she's without the beauty you know now let's open this up I know. Who gives a crap, right? Alright, now we have our first monster. And it seems to be a tree made of heads. Which is pretty cool. Pretty spooky looking. Woo! And then this thing. Holy Toledo, look at the detail in that. He has hooves. See down there. Just... I'm going to get to learn how to do my shading a little bit better. Looks like one of those Oni creatures. And then my ex-mother-in-law. There she is. Woo! Frightening. And I don't think she's riding that spider. I think she's part of the spider. Ooh, and it's, and it's pooping out heads. Look. All right. Finally, this massive dragon, this fire dragon. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. And this video is specifically to all those who are kicking themselves for not backing the Kickstarter. I am not one of those. I did back it. Thank goodness. All right. Now we're going to take a look at the base game. This, I believe, is everything you would get. Uh, there, I did it again. <laughs> this is everything you would get if you purchased it in retail. And we're going to use the giant zombie knife. Oh, wait. We might not even have to go along the scene. Yeah, we'll just do it that way. Coleman and Hot makes some beautiful games. I hope this is this plays just as well as it looks for sure. I haven't been disappointed by an Eric Lang game yet. I mean, they haven't all been super, but I haven't really been disappointed by them. We have the rule book. I'm sure nobody really gives much of a care about the rule book, but there it is. And then, I'm assuming that these are the clans, these are the cards. Um, let's see if I can do this without injuring the cards. There we go. And I want you guys to at least be able to take a look at different cards, the backs. You've seen the backs of the other one, look at that one. Beautiful artwork. Not really sure how to play yet, so I don't know what is what and what they mean, but 
I know we have the path of the monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, now we're gonna. There's another Oni of the Blood and Oni of the Souls, and those guys are, those guys are scary. River Dragon, I think that monster's in here. Oni of Hate, I believe that's the second one we've seen of those. All right, those are those cards. These are the, uh, the markers. Not sure what they're used for, but th those are those. And now I'm not gonna lift every one of these out because they're. They're very tiny. We'll just take a look at it through the plastic, but you'll be able to get a good look at each and every one. This is one of the clans, I'm sure. Okay. And now it's time to start opening stuff up. You'll know a cool mini or not game when you get these boxes inside. This is where all the big stuff is. Oh, brother, look at this. Look at the size of these bases. Oh my goodness, plastic money instead of the cardboard ones. I appreciate that, for sure. Oh yeah, we're going to take a look at these. Woo! These are going to be a pleasure to paint. Just hope I don't screw them up. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. He looks like he's been swilling beers all day watching a football game, doesn't he? guy yeah he went out fishing for people look at that he's got beheaded people on his pole that can't be good there's one of those dogs I forget what they're called I see them on a lot of tattoos a friend of mine has a tattoo with one of these on it and we got this dude that dude whoo He needs armor. You got four arms. You don't really need armor. Smack stuff away. Then we got... Uh, oh, man, she does have a face, and she's got a hat of skulls. Check it out. A hat of skulls. But uh, she's got a giant-looking scythe axe type thing. Beautiful. Beautiful minis. And the piece de resistance. Look at that. This dragon is wrapped around the world. He is one bad A. All right. Any yawning you hear will be my wife. She's very tired and I'm keeping her up so that she can be my camera woman. All right, I'm gonna put this piece back in. And in order to do that, I gotta put the these underneath. He's underneath, and I gotta slide him back in because he wants to come out. There we go. In you go. Everybody, no escaping. And back in the box. Alright. This must be the rest of your armies. Oh, yeah, look at that. I think maybe the. The outer one was the, the Kickstarter Fox Clan. I think that was an exclusive Kickstarter. All of these are different armies. Got a bird looking army. Um, the other ones, they all have distinct looks and feels. So if these get painted, these would more than likely be, uh, you'd have to keep with the theme. Keep with the theme or maybe uh, Maybe paint them white and use dyes and, and washes to color them back down blue. Maybe it make them look just a little bit better. All right. Let's go down into here. Oh, this is all... all. We got our board in here which I believe is a pretty large board. And I'm not gonna... There's the Dragonfly Clan, the Koi Clan, these are the player shoes. The Lotus Clan, the Turtle Clan, and the Bonsai Clan. And here's some of the, here's some of the tokens that need to be punched out. Just beautiful. And then you got your board. 
these back in here. We're going to take a look at the board. Possibly. I think it's pretty big. Whew. Look at that puppy. Wow. That is going to look impressive on the table. That is, uh, that is a really nice board. The, the artwork on it is gorgeous. I'm just real, real happy with with this is the same designer and artist um, from Blood Rage and I have that and I had a ton of fun as well painting those minis and I think I did them some justice I believe so anyway alright so let's put this stuff back in here this stuff now I gotta remember how all this stuff fit in here all these cards and tokens are over here in this thing Almost done with this unboxing. Set this over here. My wife and I have been playing Pandemic Legacy. That's why that's in the background. We've been having a blast. Not doing the greatest, but we're having fun. All right. Do you guys like the zombie killing knife? Is that, is that something you think I should open up games with when I do unboxing videos? Even though I haven't done a ton of them, um, this is uh, actually a knife and a letter opener. And a very cool letter, letter opener. And they all fit together. But, you know, just add a little bit of element of cool. Now we are opening up the Daimyo box. I think that's something the kitties say when they're at the penny candy store. Give me a dime, yo. All right. Let's take a look at this. We have the... Oh, no, that wasn't the Fox Clan because the Fox Clan is in here. Oh, my goodness. Got some board pieces. There's some more cards. Oh my goodness. And this is the stuff that they had as cardboard that got upgraded. Look how beautiful. I believe, yeah, these are plastic pieces. Gorgeous. Fox Clan, and we also have some more pieces that were, these were upgraded. I know for a fact I'm being attacked by tape I know for a fact that these pieces are they're cardboard pieces of these and boy what a beautiful upgrade to get these are that, those are just beautiful and all the little flags flag stands and we're going to take this up off here and look at all the little houses and uh, the tokens, these tokens are beautiful. Great, great upgrades. And we have little turtle houses. Now if that ain't cool, I don't know what is. Look at him. He, he doesn't know what's going on. He ain't trying to win the race. He lost, the hare's already got it. Put these back in here. I cannot wait to get into this game, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you the truth, I can't wait to get into this. Maybe happening this weekend, we will see. But sure. Alright, now I'm gonna take and open up this one. This is the last of the monsters. I believe this in this encloses all the Kickstarter exclusives. Since I was wrong about that before. I'm pretty sure I'm right this time. Alright. Try not to be too destructive. There we go. And in here we have the Fox Clan. We have Godzilla! Rawr! Okay, okay. We have yet another dragon. <coughs> <coughs> A 
That's what I get for trying to make dragon sounds. Or Godzilla sounds. Um, we have another dragon. We have a lady with a snake on her. And you know what? I take it back. This is my ex-mother-in-law for sure, because she is a snake. <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> take a look at this stuff. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Got a bear with a club. Gorgeous looking sculpts. I mean, just going to be a pleasure to paint. I'm going to have to uh, base coat these with my airbrush just so I don't lose any of this detail. All right. I believe that is it for Rising Sun. As you can see, there was a ton, a ton of stuff in here. Put some stuff in, back in. Yeah, the, those things go there. I think this is here. That was probably there. There we go. That looks like it fits. Oh, that's not there. Fox Clan. And that is Rising Sun Kickstarter. Looking forward to painting this and putting it on the table and possibly doing playthroughs for you guys if you're interested in how the game plays and what it's all about um, if you like what I'm doing please uh, like and subscribe down below in the doobly doo down there just you know down there please like and subscribe follow me on Facebook at uh, www.facebook.com forward slash tiger1327 I have a Twitter account that I post my videos I have uh, a uh, Facebook page I maintain, which I just gave you the address to, so I guess you don't have a Facebook page. Um, but uh, go check me out. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe below. I'd really appreciate it. I need to get my views up. Um, until next time, see you later.